Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're looking at this uh, December 2018 68 plate BMW 440i Grand Coupe. This is the M Sport with the auto ZF 8 speed gearbox, which has paddle shift as well. So you can change gears of uh, the paddles on the steering wheel. The car has covered only 11,000 miles it's got full service history with BMW, which is all in the iDrive. Uh, the, the MOT is not due to uh, December. That will be its first MOT. It's still under manufacturer's warranty at this stage. And we're going to take a look around the car. Now, this colour is called Snapper Rocks Blue Metallic. It's a very vibrant colour, a little bit greener than what you'll see in this video. The camera tends to pick up the colour slightly differently. So when you look through the pictures, you may see a, a change in the colour. I'm going to come in. Now I'm going to point out any little pieces on the car uh, in the way of chips, etc. It's in a lovely condition. Um, if you look in close, there are going to be some very, very tiny, just above there, you can see a little tiny dot of the chip, but there's nothing, nothing major on there at all. All of the bumper, We've got some nice black grills that we've put in the car as well. I'm just looking, it looks very blue here, but if you, if you Google Snapper Rocks Blue, you should find a, a true color of the car. Again, up on the bonnet, there's a couple of tiny, see those little tiny, I could say very small. Now the whole car has been detailed and machine polished. And for you that don't know what machine polishing is, it's where we use an electric, rotating mop to professionally polish the cars to take out any scratches and then we use another mop which is a rotational and orbiting so it oscillates around and that takes out any holograms and swirls in the paintwork to give you a really crystal clear shine now i'm going to go through the spec as we go around the car We'll start with the wheels. So we've got the later 704M 19 inch alloys, which are gray and diamond cut, with the M performance brakes, bigger caliper. We've also got on here Bridgestone run flat tires, S001s. Just gonna come in and show you how nice the paintwork is on this car, because the guys do a fantastic job. We've got two detailers, Peter and Dan. Dan specialises on the outside and Peter on the inside. We've got a little bit of water dripping down from the ceiling, unfortunately, so we'll have to ignore that. But look, no bird dropping stains or anything in the paintwork. There's no scratches. We've got some protection glass at the back. Just to show you a top, across the top of the boot there. Very frustrating look at this, looking at this on the camera because I can see it with my eye and it does look different colour-wise. It tends to pick up different light spectrums, I guess. There we've got the rear wheel, all in a lovely condition. Come round the back, just take you across here. No scratches, no ding dents. Just move it a little bit slower so you can have a good look. And if we come down, you can see the guys have polished up the exhaust tips and everything. All of the trim at the bottom's in good condition. If you look down the side of the car, lovely condition. LED rear lights as well on this car. Let's show you these two wheels as well. So all in lovely condition again. No scratches or chips. You get little LED lights. If I just open and close the door, you've got little LED lights under all of the door handles. And I think there are also some lights just up underneath, there we go. So you've got puddle lights as well. Let's bring down and show you this front wheel. All in lovely condition. And also the BMW badges in the center. If there's any scabby ones, they get changed as well, but they're all good on this car. So just let you see around the car a little bit. There's uh, obviously a little bit of water on the windscreen at the moment, but there are no chips or bullet holes or anything like that in the windscreen. You see some of these chips and they sort of balloon round, don't they? So we'll take a look inside. 
In fact, before we do, one of the optional extras on this car is adaptive M Sport suspension. Now, the adaptive M Sport suspension is a totally different shock absorber that BMW use to adapt the driving uh, comfort softer in the comfort mode and in sport mode it will stiffen the suspension to give you a much better handling vehicle and uh, it's a very desirable option so we've got that on this car now we also got the Harman Kardon sound system with additional speakers one being up there in front of the professional media we've got the ivory white uh, Dakota leather, not the Oyster. The ivory is a little bit lighter. You'll see all the door card is in lovely condition. And if you look even under these doors, everything is cleaned. We do not like to miss anything. We'll just take a look around the seats. No scuffing on the bolsters. Like I say, it's only done 11,000 miles, this car. So it really is in exceptionally nice condition. We've got the touchscreen sat nav, but we'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to come into the back of the car. You can see the Harman Kardon speakers there again. I'm just scanning around with my eyes, looking at the door card. There's no marks on there. And if we look, all of the seals, beautiful condition. Again, got the, the uh, puddle lights. All the rubbers are good. We'll take a look in the car. The back of the seats, another area where you can sometimes see a little bit of damage on cars. There's nothing there. There's um, nothing in the center down where the fans are. All the carpets are in lovely condition. And the lever in the rear as well. Got center armrest there as well. There's a lovely contrasting stitching actually on this as well, which really sort of highlights, gives a bit more detail. Okay, so we'll go into the boot. The boot can be operated off of the key to open and close the boot. We've got rear camera as well. There's the button to uh, close the boot if you want to use the button. Now you'll see the boot space the carpets are like new. And if we go along the back of this rubber here, this is where you sometimes see scuffs and scratches and it's all in beautiful condition as are the trims and etc. Take a look under here. As you can hear, Peters has started the engine for me. All lovely and clean in there. You've got the locking wheel nut and your first aid kit, etc. Just put that back in. So, press of the button. So you can hear that engine purring over. No scratches around here either, as we'll make our way to the rear door on this side. So we'll take a look at this door card. Again, no damage, no scuffs, no tears. And you'll see all in beautiful condition. No scratches or dents around here. All in lovely condition. So go to the front door, driver's door. And this is an area here where you'd sometimes see scuffing, but there's nothing there. Again, underneath. Everything's lovely. Try and keep the uh, camera from. So, the front seats on this vehicle are electric. The driver being uh, the driver's seat being um, memory seat as well. So you've got two memory settings there. We'll just scan over the seat. See that all the seat is in lovely condition. Even the bolsters, where you sometimes get a bit of wear. These side panels here, they blow up to um, hold you in the car a little bit more with this little rocker button here. You can see all the door trims. Sorry, not door trims, but uh, if we go inside the car, 
See the steering wheel, we've got uh, cruise control, speed limiter. And we thought we'd take a, a CD out of one of the other cars and you can uh, see that you can play your DVDs in here. Obviously not when you're driving. I think this is a uh, Batman or something that got left in a vehicle. So you've got a, a DVD in there as well that plays. Another really nice desirable option is the digital cockpit on this car. So the digital cockpit allows you to um, view different images on the screen there. When you use the driver modes, it's currently in comfort. As you see down there, we've got 11,318 miles. Um, using the mode button just here, you can bring up the DVD, the DAB, FM, and there's probably on uh, music, which is your hard drive. Now, if we go into, for example, Eco Pro, it changes the display and gives us different readouts to show how economically you're driving, etc and your power coming into your battery when you're taking your foot off the accelerator. We go back past comfort, sport mode, so it all goes red, all a bit fast and furious. And uh, if I put it into gear, you'll see you've got the gears, let's go into sport mode, if I pull the paddle, it goes into manual mode, and the speed's on the left for a more sporty effect. And if you go into sport plus, it's pretty much the same, but it turns off part of the traction control it does leave the dynamic stability control on. So that can be turned off, but we'll leave that for another day. Okay. The, let's put it back in park. So the screen up here is touch screen. So if we do this, I think if we press that again, we can move these around as well and put them in order. So this is the later navigation. We've got the heated seats down here dual climate control. So as I was um, saying about the adaptive drive, when you, if I bring this back up on here, they've all got this button, all of the BMWs. Now, when you go into um, configure sport, they've all got this section, but unless you've got the adaptive to drive, it will not change physically the chassis because you've, you're just running on standard shock absorbers. There's, there's no way they can change that. With the adaptive drive, you've got valves and magnetic fluids or something like that, that the car can physically change. So like I say, they've all got this, uh, this Eco Pro and Sport button with this facility, but unless you've got the adaptive M suspension, it won't change it. A bit confusing from BMW because they've all got that button, but like I say, Okay, so if we go into menu, let's have a look at the navigation. Really good navigation system, very easy to use. If we go into map, we're looking straight down at the moment. Now, if we use these buttons down here, we can save some of these windows as well as uh, you know radio stations and things like that. We've got all these sub menus on the left. Now, if we go into map views, this is where you can change your view. So if we want perspective, which a lot of people use, we could save that on button eight. So rather than going into the menus at the side for, for, for uh, quickness and ease, we can just press a button number seven, takes us back to that view. This view is a lot better in a city where you're looking for the next junction to turn and there might be three or four junctions coming up very close to each other and then you can flip it back. Okay, so let's have a look at the media. So we've seen the CD, we've got DAB in there, you can stream your music as well. We've not got a phone connected for that, but you've got all your DAB channels in there as well. And you can scan for all of those. If we come out of there, we'll take you the connective drive. So this is a three year subscription from new. So there's, there's a time left on this, um, yet before you need to resubscribe. You've got Amazon Alexa, you've got weather reports and stuff in here. Um, we're not connected up, but yeah, it will give us the weather. There's Wikipedia search, weather, radar, Flickr. A lot of stuff that I don't really use, to be honest with you. There we go, there's the weather. We'll come out of there. My vehicle. So again, we've got all different displays. Um, sub menus down the right hand side, lots of things you can change with the car, lighting, um, 
units, you know, brake horsepower to newton meters and so forth, pounds per foot. We go down to vehicle status, go over to the service requirements, and if we click on the top one, this is the service history. So this was the PDI when the car was new. This is the oil and filter change um, at 11,000 miles. So this car was done very recently, uh, December. That was by BMW. Now, if we come back to where we were, the front pra uh, brake pads have 9,000 miles remaining. Uh, the brake fluid, the first one's three years, so that's coming up in November 2021. After that, they drop down to every two years. Always good to change your brake fluid. It's the water that builds up inside the fluid that uh, creates a gas, steam, for example, when the brakes get hot and makes your brakes spongy. So always a good thing to make sure it's changed. We can see we've got 19,000 miles left on the oil change. Rear pads, 28,000. So everything's up to date in there. And the MOT is not due to December 2021 as well. We've got uh, sliding armrest down here. There's one of the keys, we've got the USB uh, port in there, which is where you could download music into the car. We can write on the iDrive wheel here to put destinations in. So if we were in here, for example, address input, I'll just do this very quickly. I don't want to bore you to death. You can write with your finger on there yeah. like so. I think I've covered pretty much everything on the car. Oh, we've got rear view camera, haven't we? Let's have a quick look at that. So there's your rear view camera. You can still see the parking sensors on the left. And when we turn the steering wheel on the squeaky paint that we have in the showroom, you'll see the guidelines show exactly where you're going to end up, basically. Okay, so let me, uh, I'll just show you a little bit round in here. We've got all the books in there, but there is also um, a handbook within the iDrive, which has everything that's on the car cup holders down here etc but everything in lovely condition so let's jump out there's two pools for the bonnet come round to the front of the car now this is where the guys spend more time than you'd believe first they hoover out any leaves and stuff because you don't want to jet wash them because it'll just create a sludge you don't want sludge blocking your waterways. This is all cleaned by hand. We use a lot of WD-40, a nice safe product to use in an engine bay. We only use a steam cleaner around the edge to take off any scummy dirt and dust that you get from the road. You can hear the engine running. Just a little bit about the engine. So it's got a twin powered turbo. It's approximately 326 brake horsepower. They usually push out a little bit more, the BMWs, in all fairness. Um, you can have them remapped, as you probably already know, and they'll hit 400 brake horsepower. So <laughs> more power than most people would need, but it's available if you want to have that done. But a really stunning car. Like I say, 68, 18 plate with 11,000 miles. Stunning condition. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch the video. We try to capture everything on the car, so I appreciate it's quite long. Thank you for watching. We'll speak to you soon. Bye.